The exercise of collecting signatures led by the Member of Parliament, Remy Aga, through research Kubo, continues throughout the weekend to Monday. The movers and seconders of the motion to impeach the four backbench commissioners are leaving the exercise open to allow other MPs who have travelled to Nairobi to append their signatures. Search Kubo expressed disappointment against 60 members of Parliament who sit on the Budget Committee that were sponsored to travel to Dar es Salaam, denying them an opportunity to participate in the exercise. Rules, the 14 days start counting after we have issued the notice. So those who took away our members and hid them in Dar es Salaam, <laughs> hoping that the, 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 the days, once the days are over, therefore they come back because the motion has collapsed. The motion does not collapse. See us not issuing a notice. It means we are not yet there. And by telling you how much, of course, that is simplistic. With the commencement of the exercise to eliminate commissioners who are said to have shared 1.7 billion shillings in the name of service awards, there is a document that is making rounds on social media that indicates the funds were budgeted for. What are they peddling in the social media? They are forgeries. You know now they are making more mistakes. They are even forging. They are forging. They are trying to forge the hazard. They are forging the minutes. They are forging everything. But we shall disprove them. So that, that can't be a mistake. According to Search Kubo workers, members of parliament have conspired to remain silent and not appending signatures on the motion. What material interests are they safeguarding by not appending their signatures? What workers are they talking about now? The workers whose money is the sole target of this. So others can be understood. But for the workers, they, 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 they hurry. As they enter here, they keep on falling. Hey, hey, hey. They, 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 they disappear. Some MPs who have participated in the exercise question why there are few ministers who have appended signatures to this censure motion. For us, we shall not. We are saying no. And so when time comes to publish this, you will therefore know who are those who have been supporting you in the fight against corruption? Who are those that you can entrust with the public office? Who, can, who are those who can be guardians of the government and the resources of Uganda? You will begin with this list. I will refer you to this list. Begin with here. Because we are seeing only about a few ministers who have signed. While others say suffocating the exercise and not allowing the motion to get to the floor of parliament is a sign of cowardice. My members of parliament and colleagues who are either under duress or they don't want to interfere in this, it is simple. You just append, then we debate. The facts will come out. The falsehoods will be proved wrong. And then you will come out clear. But to suffocate this process is a sign of cowardice and we actually we don't know what you are fearing. The movers and seconders of the motion, although have not yet acquired the required 177 signatures, put their expectations high, targeting 260 signatures to carry the motion forward. Amnafka Farida and Gloria Gwetabinji at Parliament.